Hi, in this video, I want to do a combination of utilizing Google Sites as well as Kahoot in conjunction with one another. And I'm into using Google Sites for the purpose of laying out learning experiences for students. It's a nice, convenient package. And so I'll give you an example here. You could actually have a Kahoot embedded directly in your Google site along with the content. So it would essentially make your Google site an interactive experience. And so the students could actually participate in a Kahoot game directly embedded on your site as they're going through the content. So you can organize your content however you want. I'm working on a learning experience here for teachers on how to use a Kahoot in a Google site. But I'm going to go through the steps of how can you actually get that in there. Let me go to Kahoot. I have one ready to go. This video is not about building a Kahoot. There's lots of free ones out there that you can get. I'm just using the Kahoot intro quiz. And when I hit play, usually when you are going live, you use the teach option. And here you can use the assign option. And that is if you want to set a deadline for when they need to participate. Now you can also set it that they just practice. This is great for vocabulary practice or if you want them to speed up on any concepts and, and get lots of practice over specific concepts in your class, you can use this practice mode. I'm going to use that today because it works really well in a Google Sites scenario because there's no deadline and it just keeps playing on my site. So I'll grab this link here first and I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go to my Google site and I'm going to find a place to put it. Now I'm just going to put it at the bottom right now. But there's two ways you can put this in. One is to double click and you can use the embed option here. You can also be on the insert tab on your Google site and use the embed option there. Either one works. And then you'll notice that you have a buy URL and you would think that you could just paste it in, but it doesn't work with a Kahoot. It says it can't embed due to provider site permissions. So there is a workaround for this. So I'm going to go to the embed code. So here in this embed code space, what I'm going to put in is I'm going to go ahead and just paste the URL directly here. And I'm going to surround it with quotation marks because I'm going to have to do that eventually. And then what I'm going to do is put in some HTML. I'm going to put in an iframe. So to put in an iframe, start with a bracket, type in iframe, and I'm going to put the width and height next and I'm gonna put them as 100%. And the reason being is because it'll just work with Google Sites that it'll fill up the entire frame no matter how I stretch it. So let me put that in, width equals quotation mark 100%, close with quotation mark, same with height. Make sure you have those two things, no spaces across there, a space between width and height. And then here, right before the quotation mark and the URL, I need to put in SRC for source equals, and now I have the URL with the quotation marks, and then I need to finish the iframe with a bracket. I'm gonna finish it with closing the iframe. So I put another bracket, slash iframe, and another bracket. Once I've done that, it'll actually reside directly in the embed box. And it'll be an interactive tool that the students can use directly on your site. And so I can stretch this out however I want, but you don't necessarily want to go the full screen. If you do that, then what will end up happening is it'll be too big for the student screen. Just keep in mind, it's going to be much bigger than what appears here when you go full screen. If you want to put in some text, you can add in some text with a title and some further directions. I'll just put practice mode in there in that space so that way it's clear what that is. It's nothing fancy at this point. I would probably clean it up a little more. So what does this look like for students? I'm going to hit the preview button here and you'll go ahead and see that when I scroll down all my content is in here but then when I get to the very bottom interactive tool Kahoot is directly residing directly in my Google site. So the students can hit game on put in their nickname, and they can participate accordingly. And they never leave your site. So I like this format better than adding a link and having the students visit it separately. That takes them to another tab. You can have this built directly in your Google site so that way students can easily access it all alongside all of your content that you piece together on a Google site. 